vlog today but I am going to show you how to take the carburetor apart having some problems with it so figured I'd do a video so stay tuned for that okay this is a carburetor for a 19 what is it 80 84 um, RM 125 and I'm having some issues with it um, so I'm gonna take it apart and check it out so the first thing you want to do is take off the, um, the bowl, so you just do that, I already took it off, so, Oop. and the gasket right here, that goes on here, make sure you put that aside for later. Um, next thing you want to do, um, I already took this apart too, but you want to take off the main jet right here, so that, that just twists out of here like that, looks like that. Put that aside, then this thing can be pretty hard to take off. So you just want to give it a little pressure and then take it off. Um, next thing you want to do is get inside there. Um, pilot jets in there. So that. Um, then dump that out. Should come out. Let's see. Right here, pilot jet. You can clean that later. Um, these already came out with the floats, so just put those aside. Next thing you want to do is take the needle right here, the float needle right there out. Um, so we'll take that out, take the pin. Okay, so that doesn't want to come out. We're not gonna take that apart. I don't feel like breaking my carburetor. So we're gonna leave that in. It floats pretty well, so I'm just gonna keep that in. But if you have a carburetor, carburetor like it, you can do it yourself. Just take that pin out. It's a pin right here, it goes through. Um, next thing you wanna do is, okay, we can take this throttle or the idle screw out the spring we can just clean that next thing you want to do you don't have to do this step but I like to do it take the choke off okay that'll come out like that just twist that out get it. okay that comes out like that put that aside for later we'll clean that next thing you want to do Take the take the air screw out. There should be a spring in there with it. If there isn't. You're probably missing it. We'll see. And you want to make sure before you take this out to screw all the way down. So you know how many spins to put it back in. I already did it. It was two. So okay. See that spring can get caught in there. So grab that out. Right there. Don't lose that, that's very important. Next thing we're gonna do is take out where the needle goes down. So I've got a brass bar. This is brass so it won't hurt it as much. Um, take a rubber hammer or any hammer. Just pound down. It'll come out like that. And then this is it. Oh, as you can see, it was broken. So that was probably my problem right there. So, yeah, that's not a good thing to have right there. See how it's broken like that? That was why it was idling so high. Okay. So put that aside. Now, I believe we have everything off. Next step, taking container. Carburetor cleaner, this stuff works pretty well. Put that in there, spray, 
go in there, go through all the passages, just to get it all clean. These right here, these passages, we're gonna go get in there. Okay, after you did that, you can spray in here a little bit, make the slide go a little bit easier. Okay, that part's done. Now I'll take a bag, put all these parts in here. All the brass parts, you don't want the plastic parts. All the jets in there. Okay, now spray some carburetor cleaner. Close up the bag, let that sit while you work on the other stuff. Just like that. Next, take the other part of the carb, the bowl. Spray in here. Make sure that's all clean. Seems really clean already, but just to make sure. Okay, put that aside. Grab your choke lever. You can spray that a little bit. I mean, it looks clean already, but just make sure. Put that aside. This little plastic piece, spray in there. Clean that, put that aside. These are really clean, I'm not gonna spray these. So, but you can if you want. Spray these, make sure they're clean. Same with that one. Um, take these screws, put them aside, and the gasket, put that back aside. So now we've got everything clean. Take the bag that we had over here, the brass parts in it. Take out the pilot jet. Um, this wire is from a, what is that brush called? It's just a welding wire. A welding wire brush. Works really well. So, let's go through every passageway. Make sure they're all unclogged. And there's a passageway right there. Make sure that's unclogged. I think mine was actually clogged. It's a good thing I'm cleaning it. And you should be able to see through it. Yep, put that aside. Okay, grab this out. We already cleaned this, we can put that aside. Okay, we can, we already cleaned that, put that aside. Okay. Main jet. Just go through the passageway again. Clean that really well. That's clean. Put that aside. And then take that, the air screw, put that aside, that's already clean. Okay, so we can put the bag aside now. Okay, now we're gonna go through every passageway, every jet with um, compressed air. So we're gonna do that right now. Next thing you wanna do is take the air compressor and we're gonna blow it every Passageway. We'll start with this. Take this, blow it out. That's all clean. Put that aside. Take the pilot jet. Do the same thing. And then look through it and make sure that it's clear. And that's clear. So put that aside. Grab the main jet. Blow through it. That's all clear. Okay, now we're on to the bowl. So do the same thing, just blow through all the passageways. That's clean, put that aside. Okay, now grab the main body of the carburetor. Do it again, blow through all the passages. Now you can go through Right here, you see those holes. If you can see, that's the, right here, that's what grabs the gas. So those are very important to have those clear. So clear those out. Clear 
comes out like that. Okay, put that aside. Now we are ready to reassemble. So grab your main body. First thing we're gonna do is put this back in. So to do that, you just tip this over and then drop that in. And take a needle nose or pliers and grab onto it like that. As you can see in there. And then you want to line it up. See how in there there's a pin that lines up with? You want to spin it so it lines up with the pin so you can put it in the right place. Okay, so just push that up as far as you can go. And I think it's as far as it can go. Okay, so that's as far as I can go. Like that, that's how far it's gonna be. So just to let you know. You can see it's just a little bit further than on top of that. Next step is to, we're going to put the idle screw back in, which goes right here on the side. Just screw that in. Grab the air screw and the spring. Don't forget the spring. We're gonna put that back in here. And we're gonna screw that all the way in until you can't screw it in anymore. And then we're gonna back it out to the specs, which is two or whatever you had it at before. So one turn, two turn. Leave it like that, that's good to go. Next step, we're going to put the floats back in. This side, the little groove right there, goes right here so it can wrap around that thing. <laughs> so we just put that in, it's pretty tricky. Okay, so that one fit in there pretty well. Um, and then pick your other, your other float and do the same thing. Just put it on there. Slide right in. Okay, there we go. Next up is you want to take your pilot jet, and that goes right here. And you want to screw that in all the way. We can't screw it in anymore. Okay, that's good. The next step is to put this white piece back on. That just goes right on top. Push that down, make sure that's tight. And you take your main jet, place that right on top, and that'll screw in. Take a pliers and tighten that down. Okay, now that's good. Next up, take your new or your already used um, gasket and you're gonna put that back on. Now we're ready to put the uh, the ball back on. And uh, then we have one more step after that. So just put that back on like that. Take the screws, put these all back in. Then tighten these down. Okay. And then we take the, the choke and that just goes right back in. Now, spin that back on, tighten that up. It's good to go. Okay, and then that's it. I think uh, we're done. So, hopefully that video has helped you.